In this chapter, we're gonna talk about reproducing venues and sites. And we're drawing a little bit of a distinction in this chapter between the next because we feel like there is a difference between having one, two, or three sites versus four or more. So in this chapter, we'll focus more on actually launching new sites. We're gonna give you what we call our seven moves. We've had the opportunity to coach and help literally hundreds, even thousands of pastors and leaders reproduce and start new sites. And these seven moves have proven helpful with just about every one of those. And we hope that you'll not only be able to learn from our experience, but hopefully uh, in the process, uh, avoid some of the mistakes we made in our journey to multi-site. So about eight years ago, uh, this dying church in Montgomery, suburb just about 20 minutes west of where we were meeting at our Naperville campus, uh, they came to us and said that their church was kind of going under and they didn't really know what to do, but they'd seen what we've been doing at Community Christian uh, through multi-site. And they asked us if we would consider coming out and starting a new campus. They would give us their building, all their land, and let us start a new site out there. Now this was in a suburb uh, that we weren't necessarily considering or aiming to go after, but it seemed like an opportunity from God. So we prayed about it, went back to him and said, yes, we are a church that wants to be about reproducing. So we want to lead with the yes and reproduce where God leads us. So we went through the process and we launched a campus there. And for the people at that old church to get to see the campus just alive again, you know, 600 people there on that, that opening weekend, uh, just, just really proved once again the, the power of multi-site. So the church... Uh, settled at about 350, and we continued to grow, hit, uh, hit about 500 people or so. Then the opportunity came again to reproduce. Uh, again, headed west, to suburb out in Yorkville. Uh, we had the right campus pastor. We had a group of people driving from there. So we thought strategically, this is one that definitely makes sense. Let's, let's reproduce again. So we cast the vision to our Montgomery campus. That was about uh, five years old at the time. And we said, all right, God's calling us to do it again. So we sent off a group of about 70 people. We started a, a new campus in Yorkville, and it continues to grow to this day. Now, last year, opportunity came up again, a uh, suburb near us, one of the largest in Chicago land, city of Aurora. And we felt like there's a lot of need uh, to reproduce or start new campuses in there. In fact, we felt like there's opportunity to even start two campuses in there at about the same time. One would be right in the heart of downtown Aurora, highly Hispanic area, and we would start a bilingual campus, an urban campus. And the other campus would be out kind of western Aurora, be one of our, our large campus launches kind of following some of our other models. So again, we identified the right people, the campus pastors and their teams, and we cast the vision to our campus, and we sent people off, sent people off and, and launched two more campuses. Also, in between all that time, a launch in three different campuses. Uh, our campus pastor, our Kid City director, some of their friends felt called to go start a new church in Boston. So we, we launched them off as well and, and reproduced to another location, this time a little bit farther away, out in Boston. So it's been amazing to me to look back and see that in, in just, just five years, uh, this campus meeting in what was uh, the old brick building of this little dying church, now to just see it growing time and time again, and then we launch people off to reproduce a new campus. And every time we do it, uh, God fills us back up again. He sends us the people. He old, opens up opportunities. People step in and serve, and we get to grow, and then we get to launch off again. And God helps us to grow again. Uh, so I've seen just, just so many values and benefits that come from, from reproducing. It's just, just kept the vision so strong in front of people, giving them something to rally around. Uh, it's opened up constant opportunities for people to serve, to lead, and uh, of course, kind of adding together the impact of all those campuses far beyond uh, what we, we would have ev ever had just as Montgomery campus alone. Even if we had phenomenal years of, of growth and we're a highly successful church, there's no way we'd be impacting the different amounts and different types of people that we're impacting through reproducing. Thank you.